We're back with another episode of Roast This Post. In a recent press conference, Donald Trump had an awkward exchange with a reporter. It starts off just like any Trump press conference, with a reporter setting Trump up by saying something that he thinks is positive. I've said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Trump never misses an opportunity to make himself sound important, so he responds with... Yes. Then the reporter goes on to say... Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Amazing. What a great question. Didn't that question just make you happy? Now watch his response. Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Trump said that as if he expected her to just give China a call. Doesn't it bother anybody else the way that he says China? China. 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 When Trump says China, it sounds sarcastic. Trump says it as if he wants it to be a racial slur, like he's giving it some racist inflection. However, despite Trump's history of racist remarks, he's always claimed to love China. You say I don't like China, I love China. People think I don't like China, I love China. And by the way, I love China. I mean, I love China. How can you not love China? I love China. I don't knock China. How can I dislike China? Don't ask me, ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Here is a photo of Trump being proud about the United States being number one in testing, which seems insensitive to brag about and isn't true. Based on population percentages, there are 10 different countries that have done better than the United States and making sure that all of their citizens have appropriately been given tests. This makes me feel like Trump and his supporters don't understand how percentages work. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm that telling I you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty please question. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond. What? What's going on here? He basically just said, you snooze, you lose, which is the most immature way for a president to respond. I just want to let my colleague finish, okay. but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank me. you very much. The best part of this video to me is it just shows how Trump cannot handle a press conference by himself. He was struggling. Normally, when Trump is dealing with a press conference, Vice President Pence or somebody else is there to handle all of the tough questions. And you've seen that before. Trump normally just takes all of the easy questions and gives all the hard ones to Pence. Some reporter says, yes, uh, what day of the week is it today? And Trump's like, I got this, I got this. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday. Today's the best Tuesday, it's Tuesday. I'm not good at Trump impressions. Honestly, I hate this man too much to try to mimic him. But then when a reporter gives him a tough question, a reporter just says something like, something, 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 science. Uh, excuse me, uh, Pence, you're gonna have to take this one. Uh, Pence, this one's for you. The crazy thing to me is that all of Trump's supporters say that Trump just misspoke, which is the equivalent of saying, no, Trump's not racist. He's just really stupid. You know how many times I've heard a Trump supporter say, oh, Trump is just bad at talking. Really? That's half of his job. 